Hello and welcome to Prime News. Now a look at the headlines. Kavre locals slam CM and Mining Belt MLAs for overlooking their plight. Say O transportation is a big scam. Subhash Faldesai refutes allegations. GSET results are out. Three toppers in physics while four toppers in biology. Admission forms to be submitted from 15th to 24th May. State bomb disposal squads bomb handling techniques primitive. Prudent compares NSG and state squad. Watch special report. Not happy with Maharashtra police probe of Narendra Dabolkar murder case? Hope CBI cracks it. Daughter Mukda Dabolkar speaks to Prudent. And IPL style franchise based Indian Super League yet to declare important details about footballers even as two month ISL tournament draws near. Now, news in detail. Kavre villagers entered Paniji on Saturday demanding justice. Locals claim that ore transportation is a big scam. They also questioned why authorities were harassing them instead of clarifying their queries. They alleged local MLA Subhash Faldesai of being involved in ore transportation scam as his nephew is the contractor. Kavre cars are surprised over silence of chief minister and MLAs from mining belt. Subhash Faldesai, however, has reputed all the allegations. Kavre locals held a press conference in Panji. They are demanding clear-cut explanation on the ore transportation. Kavre locals feel that there is a scam in motion in the garb of ore transportation. Primgoda Malila is that the illegal iron ore is the state government property. He is the legal owner of the uh, property, uh, this iron ore. So, if you want to know how to transport it, how can it be? They also feel that local MLA has evaded meeting them as he is involved in the scam. Kavre Kars is surprised as no MLA from Mining Belt has rushed to hear them, including Mines Minister Manor Parikar. This is bigger than previous. Sangi MLA Subhash Faldesa has refuted all the allegations leveled against him by the people of his own constituency. Congress has supported the agitation led by Kavre locals. They only want that they should be taken into confidence. Baba think it's all like Tenzopa. Thank Naka, Tene Bon Kelale, O thank Naka, Konatras Kelle. Aj person transportation saloa. Transportation ten salamka, ki we found discrepancy, discrepancy medicana, ki upon done this bond. Bureau report prudent. G set results were declared on Saturday morning. Test was conducted on sixth and seventh May. Students have been advised to fill and submit admission forms at Directorate of Technical Education Porvari and Ravindra Bhavan Margao from 15th May to 25th May. GSET test is conducted for admissions into technical and professional colleges of Goa. 3,403 candidates had appeared for GSET this year in Goa. In physics, it is Shetgaonkar, Rishikesh, Digambar. Uh, second one is Gaos, Sail, Soma. Third is Bhatt, Punit, J. There are two toppers in chemistry with 69 marks. In chemistry, again we have six. Crispy, Michelle, Fernandes, Ashwin, K. 
Parab, Panna, Tushar. Maths again we have six students. Sirsat, Suraj, Rajan topping with 69. Shedgaonkar, Rishikesh, Digambar with 68. Shanbag, Atul, Damodar 66. There are four toppers in biology with 71 marks. Palya, Sydney, Leno, Lawrence with 71. There are actually four with 71. The Costa, Elaine, Antonyat, Vikas, Yadav, Praful, Memgain. So these are all on 71. They should fill up their admission form, form B, based on these results. For admission to the professional degree courses in uh, medicine, dentistry, Homeopathy, Engineering, B Farm and B Arc for architecture also, which will be accepted at the Directorate of Technical Education Porvorim and the Ravindra Bhavan, Margaon, from Thursday 15th of May to Saturday 24th of May on all days except Sunday, which is the 18th of May. So that's nine days, nine clear days um, at this office and at Ravindra Bhavan, Margaon from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Normal working hours. We spoke to one of the chemistry toppers, Crispy Michelle Fernandez. She wants to pursue her career in medicine. I am actually, I want to pursue medicine. So oh, MBBS. Okay. <laughs> uh, so first MBBS, maybe then neuro or cardio and then probably settle. <laughs> Omkar Ferrari for Prudent. Is bomb disposal squad of Goa police competent enough to deal with explosives? The answer is a big no. Prudent insight and detailed analysis has revealed some startling facts. Goa's BDS is ill-equipped, inadequately trained and incompetent to handle serious explosive laden scenarios. Here is the comparison between Goa's BDS and the NSG BDS which diffused around 50 crude bombs at Nessai. A special report. Twin bomb blasts shattered a family on Thursday at Nessai. Thereafter, bomb disposal squad of Goa police visited the site and defused remaining explosives, but their ability to deal with explosives was exposed. After the blasts, about 50 explosives were spotted inside the house. Senior officers of Goa police took the decision not to assign the task of defusing these bombs to bomb disposal squad of Goa. Almost after 24 hours of the blast, bomb disposal squad of National Security Guard came at the spot from Delhi and dealt with the bombs. We show you some examples of how less equipped and less trained is our own bomb disposal squad of Goa police. On the New Year Eve, one suspicious briefcase was spotted at a crowded Kalangut beach. One of the constables on duty called the bomb disposal squad. It took about three hours for the squad to reach at Kalangut Beach from Panji. Ideally, in an emergency situation, NSG team reaches in any part of the country from its commanding station within four to five hours. The frontman of NSG's bomb disposal squad wore a heavyweight anti-explosive jacket and then from a safe distance started lifting and dragging every suspicious object with the help of a special equipment but bomb disposal squad of Goa police, without wearing any jacket, casually opened the briefcase. Thankfully, there was nothing dangerous in the briefcase, but the way it was handled was completely unscientific and risky. Now, we show you the height of carelessness and untrained act of bomb disposal squad of Goa police in the situation when the threat was real. But before that, an example of how experts of NSG dealt with a suspicious backpack. The NSG commando, wearing fully covered jacket, gloves and helmet, first laid down on the surface and then unzipped the backpack. In comparison of that, act of bomb disposal squad of Goa police. After a blast which killed two persons, police found a live bomb and now see how they are trying to defuse it without taking any safety measures. These examples show that not only lives of the persons in Goa are in danger but due to lack of required equipments and necessary training, lives of personnel of bomb disposal squad of Goa police are also at stake. Reporter Mukesh Kumar for Prudent. It's time for a short break. Stay tuned. <laughs> 